everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So this morning we are sitting on Saskahenia and we got a couple of things we need to do before we can jump into a battle here. So let's go into the barracks real quick. We got some skill points to spend on our pilots here. So on Granite, I'm just going to turn the gunnery up. We're going to put his gunnery up a little higher. Training confirmed. confirmed. Just to give it a better chance to hit. And then Waiting Griff, you, we got Commander. some points. I'm going to go into piloting here. Confirm Ready that. Um, I don't want to get knocked over if we don't need it to. Uh, Puka is actually not have any points we can spend here. And then uh, Steamer Peter? Duck is good. I'm here. Roundup is good. And then I'm Taser Face. Moment. Well, we're going to go Gunnery here. She's got her speed, but let's go with a little bit more accuracy. Actually, we get better initiative. Well, she's already got good initiative, so we're not going to worry about that. Let's go Gunnery. Yeah, we'll go Gunnery. A little bit better chance Next to hit. Training complete. And that's it. Commander. That's all we got. Uh, this, yeah, we've got some points to spend on these other guys here, but we won't yeah. do that unless we have to because it'll just cost us more more sea bills. Waiting for orders. Cool. All right, so, um, so that being done, uh, we didn't get anything from the last episode because Unity crashed at the end. We lost everything. Yeah, no big deal. The fight was good, so that's fine. So I figure we fought Comstar last time, didn't get anything out of the deal. So let's go back in and fight another Comstar mission today. It's a it's a half skull mission, so it's not that bad. Um, so uh, we'll do that in a second here. So we're gonna go to engineering real quick because I want to do the second level of repair and refit. It's cheap enough. We should make enough C bills today to to offset this. So grab the extra right, tech point to get our right mechs um, back a little sooner. Not much, but a little bit. Um, so let's go to command center, and we are gonna take this one here. Uh, capture base in an urban environment. Um, it is against Comstar, so it's half skull, but you know they got six units per lance, so it's hopefully we we can get some good gear out of this too. And let's go with we go full salvage. I don't remember what our drop costs are. Let's go full. That extra selection might net us whatever the difference would be. So our drop costs are a hundred thousand. So we're not going to make our drop costs back. So let's just hope that we get a little bit of bonus out of this. All right, let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Landing on the surface. This is where the ancestral fortress, right in the middle of town. Because where else would you put an ancestral fortress? I guess they built the town around it. Because that's a smart idea. Let's put the fort in the center of town. That way when the <laughs> enemy decides to destroy it, they're dropping artillery right in the city. Ah, oh, man. Okay. Um, I guess... Um, there's no defenders. So let's get this party started right. We're going to drop right in here. And just in order to not drop anywhere nasty. Let's get our uh, two heavier mechs up here. Let's get our cephalus and the vehicles down here. So they can move out right away. Alright. Drop right on top. Oh yeah, right. Because of course you got to scout the fortress first. Yeah. I, th I think, yeah, when I was playing um, offline there for a bit, I was always taking these missions early on because now that you can drop anywhere, you don't have to waste time right away. You can just kind of drop right on the base pretty much. Okay, so we should occupy the fortress, then it'll probably be a couple of turns before the enemy shows up. I have no idea which way they're going to come commander. from, but we're going to try and stick together. Let's just get up on the top here. Might as well just move everybody up here. Get away from these coolant Copy. tanks. Moving to position. Moving to position. So for those of you that are in the, um, or are playing in the uh, Battle Report series, I keep calling it that. It's the Battle Battle Report Lockdale. Um, I've come up with a few uh, alterations for the second scenario on how we're going to run the enemy, um, just to make things a little bit more. Um, Combat, I don't want to say combat friendly, but a little bit more um, player friendly in relation to combat. Because right now things are a little scattered and it didn't end up being like I wanted them to be, so um, we're going to make some changes. Okay. I think it's going to be better Heading changes. Out. More opportunity for combat is really what it is. Yeah, come on. Really? Where are these guys? I'm not going to go anywhere until I know where they're coming from. No need to tell me twice. And these guys will just sit here. What 
the hell? Heads up, Commander. You got hostile contacts inbound. Is that like an artillery strike? Scorpion. Quick sell. Maybe. Maybe it, it might have been an arrow. Cause I know some of these uh like lighter quick sell vehicles have like one shot arrow and stuff. Score eh, it's gonna be easy. Ah yeah, well. Maybe we take something else after this. Maybe they saw through our camouflage. I mean, we were attempting to look like holograms, like on the sides of buildings and stuff, so maybe they're like, oh, that's not a hologram. That's not a moon. What do you mean it's not a moon? Oh, shit. All right, let's shoot this guy. Yeah, we're going to fire everything. Yeah, this guy did not have a uh, arrow system. All right, we got half of them on. That's actually pretty good for a 37% chance to hit. Reinforcements, yeah, so it's just one lance. Just one lance. That guy's out there by himself. I don't think none of us can get out there. But there's, I know there's an Irby here on one of these buildings. Oh, we have contacts on this side too. Firestarter. A Jenner. That's not bad. Huzar. Okay, good chance to get some shit off that guy. As long as it's got the ER large, that's kind of nice. Um, let's focus on... Can we get a direct line of sight? Anybody? Anybody? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh. Mm. Uh, yeah, but... Let's shoot our own guy in the back, probably. Alright, let's pull this... Ooh. Yeah, that's... That, okay. Let's pull this way. So we're m missing one, aren't we? Oh, wait. Does Comstar have five and Word of Blake has six? Or does Word of Blake... Who am I missing here? One, two, wait, there's another guy back here. That's what I'm missing. Stinger Lamb. Okay, interesting. The RX. Yeah, those are SRM-4s, I believe? Or are they Streak 2s? Firestarter is the Ballistic Firestarter. This guy prop. Wait, it's... Is that OB or DB? Is, that the, is this an Omni? That's DB, isn't it? It's the problem with using a font where the like on at small size the the capital letters look similar like D B O and Zero. Or sorry, D O and Zero. They look this they look very similar. I'm gonna go indirect on this guy. Go standard, no point in wasting the good ammo if we don't have to. It's just to keep applying keep applying damage to the one guy, see if we can get him this turn. These guys will worry about in a minute. He's got to come up the ramp anyway. Stinger lamb. At least he's revealing himself. Oh, now he's behind this here. We'll see you in a second. All right, grip the stiff. Let's get out here. Can we jump? We can't get to the top of a building. I took jump jets off. That's why. Pretty sure that's why. Um. Uh, ah. Yeah, we're going to send you on a flank with the uh, Cephalus. Going turbo. We'll go indirect here for the first turn. But we're going to flank, take out the two vehicles with the Cephalus and the Griffin on this side, and then have them rejoin us on the other side. Got it. I had a whole eight points. Nice. Doing well. <laughs> Man, the early game sometimes is just... Like, especially if you're starting, like, I always like to start with, like, lighter and thinner lances just to give you that really early struggle. It, it's always more enjoyable for me. But then I can totally see the advantage to, like, starting with, like, a full, like, medium lance and, like, taking, like, a bushwhacker or a hunchback as your um, background choice early on. Those things are nice, too. They can get right into the medium combat. Yeah, you better run. You better run. Waiting for orders. All right, we gotta move to punish these guys. Question is, can we? Yeah, we're not gonna get on anybody at the moment, but we do want to move a bit, so we're gonna move to here. Moving out. Just so that whoever peeks will get get clobbered, and we'll shoot some rounds at this guy. He's slowly getting there. He's panicking. At least that's a good thing. Good to go. All right, let's get back here. We get all the way down here. No shooting, just running. 
Yeah, I kind of like city fighting because they did a really good job with the cities, but then I kind of don't because sometimes it's really hard to get angles on your enemy. I guess it's really good for heavier mechs. You know, heavy mech fighting in the city is actually pretty good because if you can control a street and force the enemy down, like like funnel the enemy down one one uh, street or a couple of streets, then um, you can really apply a lot of damage. Come on, send me a real mech warrior. Don't tempt fate. They'll send you a real mech warrior and take your head clean off. Yeah, so I saw, <laughs> I saw the the uh, the yep. dirty Harry clip with that uh, that comment. The first time he says Roger. it is when he like shoots that bank robber early on. The guy had a shotgun, and then he walks over to him, and he's the guy's lying on the ground, and he's got his 44 pointed right at the guy, right? And he's standing above him, and the guy's like on the ground, and he's like kind of reaching for a shotgun. He's already been shot by with, with a 44, and I'm thinking. You know, and then he, he, Harry Callahan delivers that, you know, I know what you're thinking. Did I fire okay. six shots or five? Well, in all this confusion, I kind of lost track myself. So you need to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Right? And it's like, I'm thinking, okay. But in reality, looking at where this guy is and how hurt he is, how far he's got to reach for that shotgun and you have the you have your gun pointed right at his head it's like if he reaches for the shotgun you could kick him right in the face and he, like even if you didn't have any ammo left you could still kick him in the face or step on the shotgun and stop him from t like picking it up right so i'm like this you're not in any real threat so it's like this guy should know that he's like you're staring at the guy like even if his gun's unloaded he's still gonna beat the crap out of you Right, you just took a 44 round. So, uh, anyway, I just thought it was kind of hey. funny. And then the guy's like, I gotta know. So Callahan points the gun at him and pulls the trigger and it's like, click. It's like, Moving to like I knew, because I counted the, I always count the rounds when I when I see a cop with a revolver, right? Because sometimes you get those, those movies where it's like infinite ammunition. Okay, let's try and delete this guy if we can with the vehicles. Nice. I did. Oh, Jenner's coming down. Anyways, yeah, I thought it was just kind of comical. The whole, that whole scene, but it's like, yeah, you know, you gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Yeah, you know, being this is a 44 Magnum, Magnum is the most powerful handgun in the world, and it could take your head clean off. You gotta ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? It's still one of the greatest lines in film history, like from a uh, action hero p point of view. Especially when you're a kid and you hear, you, you hear him deliver that line, and you're like, oh my god, yes! It was like one of the best lines ever. No sweat. Take your head clean off. Alright, let's hammer this guy. Let's try and take his head clean off. Oh, you missed with the big one. Again. Really, you're gonna plink him with that? Ooh, never mind. We got through the structure. Yeah, critical hit. Got past the armor. Be interesting to see. I, I know there was a couple of people that did voice packs, and they are included in uh, Rogue Tech, so there are additional voices. But they weren't mixed to the same level as the original voices, so some of them are really loud, some of them are really, really muffled. And I remember playing back, thinking back to Baldur's Gate, and... Um, Baldur's Gate 2, you used to be able to add like new voice sound packs and I remember doing that. I remember like grabbing, um, who was it, uh, Blade. So I, gra I sampled a whole bunch of Blade samples from the, mo from the movie Blade and uh, put Blade uh, sample together. But I wonder like, I should probably, I, I, I know I probably won't do it, but I should look into doing my own voice pack for one of these voices and then just changing them to be like, you know, ridiculous quotes from movies. Come on, guys, let's go. I think that'd be hilarious, like a voice pack with just random, ridiculous movie quotes. 
But I'd have to, you know what, if I was going to do that, I would probably figure out, oh, it's a bomb. I would figure out Ooh, all the quotes that needed to be season. delivered, and then I would probably um, post them and, and ask everybody what they thought they should be. And then have like a, a community voted uh, voice pack. I think that would be kind of cool. Okay, let's get up here. That way, and then just deli you know, hand it out for free. Everyone can use it. Park. Nice. We should. I don't know if we'll be able to finish this guy Target this turn, but he's hit. pretty much out of the battle. I'm saving this guy because I want to do a backstrike on the lamb. If I can. Hopefully, finish him off this turn. It's not going to give us much salvage, but he'll be dead. I'm more concerned about how much damage I'm taking if I lose components at this point. You know, early in the match, like early in the or in early in your uh, campaign, that is, what do you losing need? components, especially good ones, can be particularly nasty. So I try to avoid doing that at Got all it. costs. No and shooting, even if that no means brother. I'm getting crummy salvage from a mission, you know, at least your pilots are getting experience, even if you don't get anything from the mission. There goes the leg. He's down, he'll be out. Scored a crew. Oh, he bailed out. Perfect. Ah, if he had good headgear, we lost it, but whatever. He's out of the match. On it. This should ensure that we don't shoot our own guys. And that's a lousy chance to hit. Well, we're taking it. Oh, we hit with something. I don't think it was in one of the ultras. It might have been, or uh, could have been an SRM. No, I think it was the ultra. Hit the arm. Yeah, ultra hit the arm. Nice. Yes, Commander. All right, we need to get you on the second vehicle. That's not bad. Get up to there. Moving out. I have to be careful with this guy. He's only twenty-five tons. It's hard to hit, but still, it's like I can't be putting myself in a position where I could take a lot of damage. Ooh, that was nice. That was nice. I know I'm not u utilizing the, him in the way I should be in this match. Like, he should be running around at full speed tagging everybody, but that's fine. I just don't have the speed with everybody else to be able to uh, capitalize on that at the moment. And I didn't finish this guy off because I don't think I would have moved far enough. Plus, the uh, Griffin should be able to easily handle this guy this turn. All right, what do we got over here? Who's next then? I guess this, well, I was gonna say that guy's next, but, ow. Oh, Ooh. I saw it lag there for a second and I'm like, Reporting. did he just Critical cack hit. my engine? <laughs> what can I do for you? Uh, where is that? Oh, he's up there. Shit, I, I... Gonna go here. Moving out. I can't. I was going to move forward with this guy, but I can't now because that guy's threatening. Let's go after this guy. Man, that large laser is just not hitting. I feel bad about shooting the little guys. Don't. It's almost uh, it's one of the reasons why I like early on if you can, rather than sinking like a lot of weight or heat into a big weapon, put a mu bunch of multiple small ones on. Right, because then if your chance to hit is like 60 and you're relying on hitting for that 40 damage or, f or 45 damage and you don't get it, you're better off firing like three medium lasers or something and just hitting once for 20 or 25 or something. You know, because at least you're still doing damage every turn. Right here. That's just the way I see it. All right, let's get on this Jenner with the vehicles. Because these things have pretty good chances to hit. And the Jenner doesn't have a lot of armor. Yeah, I see what I mean. That, like, I know this is a vehicle and it was a miss, but that's 55 damage that's down the drain, right? If you put like three ER medium lasers on there, you're still running about the same heat. But you got three chances to hit rather than that. Oh, so he's got LRM5s, that guy. Systems holding. Yeah. Or I wonder if they're MRM3s. That's not a solid line. We want a solid line. Solid. Let's get up here. Got it. Puts us inside of the Hussar, but I think we, we're okay. 
in that regard. We want to go after this guy. We could probably I'm ready for orders. drop that uh, building. If we blow the building up, I know he'll fall and his legs will take some damage, but is it... Like, it won't really matter. It won't be that much. I'd rather go after him and maybe claim one of the arms or something if we get lucky. Yeah, I mean... It's getting there. It's getting there. What do you need? Back it up to here. Confirmed. Guy's giving us some range, so let's take it. Um... Yeah, I'm not worried about this. Wow. Good thing I raised my gunnery up, huh? <laughs> let's just take a shot at this guy. Hope I don't jam here. Oh, one of them hit. Nice. That was shocking. At least he's almost overheating too, so maybe he won't fire all his weapons next turn. Yeah, shoot the guy with lots of armor. Please. All right, it's going to be next turn here in a second. Mess him up. Mess him up good. good. All right, we need to get you here. Holding off. The stinger's got to go. Normally, stinger lamps aren't that threatening, but at lower levels like this, they can be. Good to go. With that evasion and being unable to hit, that's nice. Yeah, you're not safe anywhere you go, buddy. Well, he goes on 14, so we got the Griffin to go before him, so we'll take a shot at him again with the Griffin. Keep the vehicles on the Jenner, and the Talos will move up, probably take on the Jenner, depending if the Huzar moves or not. I hear ya. Okay, you're a ranged I unit, so we're going to move back Moving here out. a bit. We'll leave the small off, I think. Yeah, we'll just keep our heat under. <laughs> This should do it if we hit. You're not gonna like it. There we go. Come on, take him down. Nope. Really. There's more where that came from. Man. Yeah. Join the heat, buddy. The damage is light. It is. Standing by. Do we want to finish this? I think we do. His lamb hard points are down. I'm gonna put the boltons on as well. Let's just hammer this guy. Maybe we can knock him down. Alright, another one hit. Ultra. I missed that. Was that a leg? Oh, he bailed. Never mind. Doesn't matter what it was. Doesn't matter what it was. Let's go for a side shot. We're doing some damage on that side anyway. That's the, the side where we hit the torso and the arm, right? Yeah. So far on the side. Here it comes. There we go. Running an XL, were you? Destroyed. You got that right. Uh, orders? Um, how far can you go? Actually, let's go up. Let's close on this vehicle. I think it's good to close on it. So he can't use his LRMs or at least force him to move some to lower his chance to hit when he fires back at us. Targeting alpha site. Nice, Gary. A little too close for that cluster yep. to open up, which is fine by me, even if it hits. Or, sorry, as long as it hits. Acknowledged. It's nice that that cluster takes a, a bit before it cl actually clusters, so you can blast people at close range. Now you're the cluster. Oh, we got him. Never mind. I was going to say we missed with it on that one, but I don't think one we did. One left. Who's our down? Who's our is left? Commander. Let's get around here. He's probably going to turn and shoot the Cephalus, but we'll see. Let's get as much as we can on this guy. Firing four weapons. Everything's on. Beautiful. Excellent. What can I do for you? All right, Griff. Um, you don't. Oh, wait. Oh, oh there we go. Pedal to the metal. We do have the speed. Can't use the large on this one, but oh, maybe we can. Maybe we can just turn off the LRMs, or we could go this route. That's putting all our eggs in one basket. Let's try and get some damage. We got everyone to... Everybody's still got to go, so... Pretty much, so... Oh, not bad. That was a good choice. 
Want some more? Huh? But you can see what I mean about like that yeah, all or nothing. Under. Like if you miss, you wasted your turn, right? But if you've got a bunch of stuff that you can fire, at least you're Look applying back. damage, right? Closet. At least you're applying damage. This could be a kill shot. There you go. Ow. I got him. You did. That's two kills for you this match, wasn't it? Didn't you get the uh No, I don't think you got the uh fire starter. Mission successful. Alright, now we got a bit of gear. We lost a little bit of coin in that, but not much. We got an extra bonus payment, which was good. So that kind of offset our drop costs. Yeah, we took a big big hit here. We got to repair our SRM-6, I think. Yeah. All right, so I want to look for upgrades for this. The LRM-5s, I think, got to go. It might be nice if we can get some MRMs. It'd be less tubes, but... Um, oh, you want the parts, eh? The Ember, the Jenner parts. You're going to give me... Wait, who were we doing fighting for? Word of Blake, wasn't it? No, we were fighting for Rasselhag. Right. Um, yeah, Russell Hag representative. Oh, man, do I want the rap? Because, like I said, we're we're gonna be teaming up with Russell Hag for this whole series. I think. Um, uh, it's only two. Oh, I lose five rap though. Yeah, it takes five parts to put a mech together for us. So losing these, we don't really have any components right now. So I'm I'm okay with that. We'll take the we'll add the two rep. We'll add the two rep. Don't feel like losing any. Yeah, we got some Jenner RX parts here too, right? So if I wanted to take the parts, I could. Five Stinger Lamb parts. We'll leave, we'll stay away from that. Uh, medium laser magnets are actually pretty good. Yeah, so it was MML fives. It was rocking. See, we could. Wait, LRM fives are what? They're two tons, and SRM six is three tons. So we could replace the two. That's two, four, seven. We could replace the three launchers with. Wow, well, we're losing tubes though. That's the problem. I don't know how I would offset that. I mean, I can't remember if we put endo steel on the uh, Talos yet. It's a problem with not not like playing every day. Ooh, missile weapon heat generation. I guess that was on the um, the gener. Ooh, XL gyro too. So we could take. I'm thinking an upgrade for the Talos. So we could take the pair of MML fives. We could take a set of endo steel, which I can't remember if we have. Oh, I want that small X pulse too. Um. Then we could take the XL Gyro. So this would all go on the Talos. Oh, I got a double heatsink kit too. And I think I have to take that. Uh, what would I drop if I was going to take the um, X Pulse? Probably nothing. I mean, it's not really that needed. But I think this is a good, up, good upsell for the um, Talos. I don't know. Everybody's so fast, though. It almost should be the Talos should be the long-range firepower. But I think we'll go this route. We'll see how it works out. All right, we got three of the Stinger parts. It's actually not that bad. It's 30 tons. Jenner RX part. We'll keep the lamb uh, hard points. So if we do put, the, put, the, put together a lamb, we can actually use it. Uh, machine guns I'm probably never going to use. The case will definitely keep. Um, basic cockpit. Let's hang on to one in case we pick up an older uh, model of something. Same with this. The fuel cell can go. The 180 will keep. Oh, defensive gyro will keep. Standard SLDF cockpit. Double heat sink. That's nice. Some jump jets, which we already have. Spall liner is kind of nice too. Reduce damage. And LRM ammo. We've already got one. Hmm. Let's drop it. We can get it any time. All right. Okay, twenty-two thousand. Not bad. So we. I mean, we didn't lose any money off that. We did okay. Uh, Talos has got to get repaired. Eight days. Wow. 
Really? All right, well, I guess we're jumping. So uh, let's just jump real quick. I was going to do that off camera, but I might as well do it now because I wanted to, to uh, outfit the Talos before the episode ends. So let's jump. We want to find a one skull somewhere. It's not really what we want. That is definitely not what we want. That's going to get you killed. Um, that's definitely going to get you killed. Let's see what we got here. Half skull. Uh, one skull red is like a death sentence. Um, ooh, 42 days though. I don't want to go that far. Uh, I want to stay away from heat problem planets. Oh, that's not bad. 24 for one and a half skull. Anything closer that's a one. Uns marks 19 is a half skull. I mean, I guess I could turn up the... Uh, Difficulty variance before we get there to hope hopefully get higher level missions But the problem is is the higher your difficulty variance the more diluted the number of missions in your particular sc skull range that you want will be So I try to keep it like to one skull variance Um yeah, I guess we go here. If you have a mega city manufacturing, eh, maybe it's got some shit for us. Let's just travel there. By your command. Excellent. So we'll head over there. Um, we'll get the Talos outfitted on the way. Yeah, we're going to need to make some serious coin when we get to this planet. So we may have to pull off a couple of missions just for the, uh, the sea bills. But that's fine. So Talos is going to need a bit of repair. All right, let's have a quick look here. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money, especially on these other mechs as well. So let's just... I think both of these guys have got um, Endo still. you got Clan Endo, and you've got Clan Endo. And you don't have anything, so that's good. All right, let's have a look here. This guy's been, like, a massive target the whole time. So let's go and take off the LRMs put the MMLs in. I feel good about that. We're overweight already, but that's all right because we've got the endo steel to go in. And then we've got uh so plus one evasion pips from movement. Now, nah, I think we need the XL because we could we could be adding a beagle probe too if we put the XL in. Actually, what's our core? Oh, we'd need two double heat sinks. Damn. Uh, if we put this in, do we have a 240? Or something a little bigger? We do have a 240. Do we have the weight for it, though? No, we don't. Wow, it's that much of a difference, eh? That's a lot of difference. So, do we have any specialist ammo? We've got Artemis ammo, but we don't have any ability to use it. We don't have a lot, really. Improved ATM. Do we have an ATM here? We've got an improved ATM 3. That's the wrong thing there. 8 damage. So technically it's a streak with evasion ignored. 1.5 tons. Because I wonder... Is that going to be worth it if we take the 6 off? I don't think so. I don't think that's going to be worth it. Now we don't have any... Is this considered a support hardpoint? It is, isn't it? Yeah, but it's four tons. That's just ridiculous, man. Four tons. Wait a minute. I guess it needs a specific hardpoint. Requires special... Oh, is it up here? Requires land air mech. Okay, I just thought I thought I just tested. I didn't think it would work, but thought I'd give it a shot and see. All right, let's. Um, so we don't really have any special this ammo. We don't have any Inferno LRMs, eh? No, we won't be able to buy some when we get to the planet, though, or at least pick it up when we're fighting. Because maybe we go with we could go we we could put an ECM on, but we got the Nova already, so that's fine. Maybe we put a Beagle probe in. 
Like we got two tons to spend. I could up the armor slightly because we are taking a pounding most missions. Do so we put the Beagle Probe on and half a ton of armor maybe? Or like I want to do this eventually but can't right now. How much heat does this put out? Four. So it's really, is that less than the LRMs? It's the same. Okay, that's good. Or we could go spall liner. How much is that going to change? It's going to put us over. Yeah, let's leave it for now. So let's go with the Beagle Probe. Um, yeah, it doesn't convert mechs to double heat sinks. Counters ECM stealth. Bonus 2 to sensor detection. Detecting minefields. Doesn't this do the same thing though? It's got a C3 system. It's got a probe. ECM shield. It's a good generalistic warfare suite. They used to be so much better, but they, I don't know if maybe I'm just wrong, but it doesn't feel like it is as good as it used to be. Although it is, I mean, it, it's what, one and a half tons and it's providing a C, uh, C3 and electronic warfare suite, so it's pretty good. I mean, we could go, oh, that's considered an active probe, okay. So we can't put that in. Although, we can go with that, which I think is probably a good idea. Actually, let's go this side. Yeah, this side. We'll still lose the torso, but I wonder if I should shift all my ammo over to the other side. I hate putting it all in one location, but in this case it might be a good idea. But this thing we really Yeah, if we lose... No, I think we better to keep it split, I guess. I'm just thinking, if you lose one side, then, like, I don't know. Then we can get rid of the safe ammo. Right? We could lose the LRM safe. So if we take that out, because technically now it's protected without... Because we've got the case, right? 95% reduce explosive potential. So less chance to explode. No, we're going to leave those in, I think. That's better. It's just better. Um, I would really love to get this in. I just don't think there's any way we can effectively do it. I mean, we could pull out the SRM. But then we wouldn't need a double heatsink kit. I mean, we don't really even need it. Need, need the damn thing now. It's just the speed is so four six compared to everybody else. It's just such a terrible uh, setup here. Uh, we don't want to put that in standard SLDF fire control system. Is this any better than just the improved? Just got night vision. This has got night vision and gunnery, so we'll leave that in there. All right, not much we can really do. So I guess we can just leave the XL gyro off this thing. So it's not as bad. It's still eight days to get it up and running, but let's validate this. Long get that into play. Handled. Shouldn't be too hard. And do we want to get the wasp? I mean, the wasp has only got two hard points, and we really don't have the weaponry for it. But um, the Griffin, we need the Pharaoh. This has got the chameleon. Yeah, no, I think we leave it as we are. Fine, let's get to this planet here. So I think I'm going to end the episode with arrival at the planet. Next episode we'll come back, take a mission on this planet, and see what it's got to offer in the ways in the store. If we can get some like incendiary ammo or something. Excellent. Just as we finish up the work. Um, if we can get some incendiary ammo or something like that, some kind of specialty ammo for the LRMs for the uh, Talos, that would be nice. Or if we can find some half tons for the um, the Griffin, we can split up some of the ammo in there too. Excellent. So I'm going to end this episode here, guys, and then when we come back next episode, we'll figure out what... Uh, uh oh Dark Circles, rim her bloodshot eyes. Hey, Commander, uh, I know you're busy, but I don't know where, where to turn. What's wrong, Mech Warrior? Roundup's voice trembles. I haven't slept for days. I keep thinking, why me? Why am I alive? I've seen 
ejections fail, ammo explosions, and impossible headshots. Rookie veterans, it doesn't matter how long till my picture is added to the memorial wall. It won't matter. Let me tell you something. It won't matter. It's all random, whether you get chosen or not, and if you spend your life worrying about whether you're going to be the one that's going to be killed, then your life is your life will just be worrying. What's what's the point? Um, let's just reassure. Her. Oh, nice. Gain the following tags dependable. I guess my words help somebody. <laughs> You can't be worried about if you spend your life worrying about what if, what if, what if, what if. That's all you're gonna. Your life will just be that, right? Gotta not worry about it. Just gotta go into battle as it's your as if it was your last day. What, is, what did Spears say? Um, without Lieutenant Spears, without mercy, without compassion, without remorse, all war depends on it. I think it's pretty apt. It's pretty apt comment because I mean it doesn't. If you go in th worrying and thinking about it, then it's just going to be, um, it's just going to weigh on you the whole time. I wonder if I should buy this. Six rounds. Man, I want to buy like everything. Let's just get the bolt on. Oh, there's two of these. I'm going to buy them both. New that extra little firepower. Um, I think that's it for the store. Yeah. My brain and distraction, eh? Yeah, so, like, I mean, if you go around... If you go around, um... Thinking about stuff too much when you're in a war, you're there to do your job, just do it. I mean, you still have to think about how it's affecting other people around you, but still, it's like... If you do that, nothing will ever get done. Um... And what the hell do I know? I've never been in a war. But anyway, um... I'm gonna end this episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. Um... I'm going to get those two uh, rocket packs attached to a mech, and then the next time when we come back, we'll take a couple missions on this planet, see what we got, and then um, we'll move on. Hopefully we can pick up some good mech parts and some good components. All right. I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.